Hello and welcome to Transport Evolved. My name is Alexa and today I'm going to show you how you can use me to control your Nissan Leaf. Hi, it's Nikki Gordon Bloomfield here from Transport Evolved and I've got a special guest with me today. Alexa, say hello. Hello. Now, for those who don't know, this is an Amazon Echo Dot. It's one of a series of Echo branded products that you can buy from Amazon that includes the Amazon Alexa voice assistant. What's Amazon Alexa, I hear you ask? Well, it's a voice activated search assistant, very similar in functionality to the Google Home device, to Apple's Siri, and of course, Microsoft's Cortana. But what makes the Amazon Echo so exciting and the Alexa voice assistant is that Amazon allows third party developers to write new skills for this. Skills are like little applications that you can activate using your voice to tell Alexa to do things like this one, for example. Alexa, ask my Nissan Leaf how full it is. You have 66% battery, which Nissan's guessometer says will get you 46 miles with the air conditioning on, or 49 with the air conditioner off. Based on what I know about the Nissan Leaf, you can expect to get as little as 37 miles in worst case conditions or 59 miles in ideal conditions. The car is not plugged in. Now, while this skill is not currently available in any marketplace, if you own a BMW electric car, a Tesla Model S or Model X, or in fact a Ford electric car, you can go to the Amazon Skills website and select and download pre-compiled, pre-built codes that you can use to control your electric car. If you've got a Nissan Leaf, however, it's possible to use Amazon Alexa to control your car. You just need to do some extra bits and bobs to make that happen. The same is true for the Renault Zoe ZE. Now, while you can download the source code for this public skill and put it on your own Amazon Lambda instance, if that makes any sense to you, then yay. Now, if you're like me and you're not really a programmer, the chances are that doing this is something that you're feeling a little apprehensive about. But honestly, it's super simple, just as long as you know what you're doing. So I'm going to talk you through this and hopefully together we can get your car talking to your Amazon Echo in no time at all. Now, the first thing you're going to do is point your web browser at the first link I've included in the description below. That will take you to the GitHub site for Scott Helm, the security expert and Nissan Leaf owner who came up with this skill in the first place. Once you've got to this point, you can actually pull down this file, deploy.zip, and you can just click on download and it will download it to your desktop. The next thing you're going to need is an AWS Lambda account. Now you can access this through the Amazon Web Services portal. If you don't already have an account, you can actually link your existing Amazon account with your Lambda service. Now, once you've logged into the Amazon Web Services portal, you can find the Lambda service by just typing its name, L-A-M-B-D-A, -A, and it will take you to the appropriate site. Next, you're going to create a Lambda function. Now, Lambda functions operate a little bit like a portal, connecting your Amazon Echo to your Nissan Leaf. Now, because you've already got the code ready to go in our zip file that we just downloaded, we can create a blank function. And then here, when it says you can choose to add a trigger, click on the little square and click Alexa Skills Kit. Once you've connected Alexa Skills Kit to the Lambda function, click Next and then populate the next window with the following information. You're going to need to come up with a name for your function and then you're going to need to upload the file that you downloaded previously, the one that's deploy.zip. Make sure that you click the upload and then you're going to need to create a role. Now I've chosen my electric car here. You can name that whatever you want. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click Next. It will ask you if you want to review your settings. You can just click Create Function. Once you've created your Lambda function, then you need to open a new browser window and head to developer.amazon.com. Now there you'll need to sign in and go through the agreements if you haven't already. 
and then you can click on the Alexa tab. Then you need to get started with an Alexa skills kit. Now you'll notice here I've already created one, which is the one for my Nissan Leaf. So I'm going to cheat and click on edit and review some of the important files that you'll need. Now the first thing it's going to ask you is what your skill type is, and it's a custom interaction model. And then you need to fill out here the name of the skill that you want to be displayed in the Alexa app, as well as the invocation name. That's the phrase that you utter to Amazon Alexa to get it to activate the service. Everything else you'll need to put as is shown here. And the ID will be unique for your particular application. Next, you'll need to go back to the GitHub where Scott Helm's code lives. And you'll see here this says Intent Schema. What you'll need to do is to view intentschema.json and copy all of the text that's here between numbers 1 and 16, copy and paste into this window here. In the same way, you'll need to copy the content of utterances txt and put it in this window here. Once you've done that, you can go through to configuration. Now there's some really important configuration here that you need to make sure you get right. Ensure that you click AWS Lambda ARN and then pick the geographical region that is closest to where you are going to be. Now in my case, I'm in North America. And in this window here, you're going to select the ARN of the function that you set up in Lambda. Then you can click on test. Make sure that this is enabled. And while I remember, you should make sure that your Amazon developer.com account is the same as the account you're using for your Amazon Alexa. That will make it much easier for you to test and use the service without going through any extra steps to authenticate things further. We're going to go back into Lambda now. And there's some very important information that you'll need to fill out in the bottom of environment variables. Now underneath the main code window, you'll find environment variables. And there are five things that you're going to need to put in these windows. So the key is on the left and the password or the information is on the right. The first thing you're going to want to put in is scheduled event ARN. Make sure that you type it exactly as it's shown here, otherwise it won't work. And you'll find this in the top right hand corner of your Lambda window. Next, you're going to need the application ID, which is the Amazon application ID that you created for your service. And you'll find that by clicking on skill information in the Amazon Alexa developer console. That application ID I told you would be different for each person, that's the one you need. Copy and paste that next to application ID in this window here. Now the last three settings you're going to need to put in here into the environment variables window are things like your region, i.e. where you live in the world, your username and your password for car wings or Nissan Connect EV as Nissan now calls it. And if you need additional help, Scott Helm's GitHub page explains nicely how to use that. With all the information enabled, now you just need to add the additional function to your Alexa and off you go. So there you go. If you've got an Amazon Echo and this version, the Echo Dot, is available for just $50 in the US and about the same in the UK, you can grab one of these, download the source code that I just showed you and get your Nissan Leaf talking to Amazon Alexa if you're nerdy like me. I mean, who doesn't want to sure. ask? I'm always happy to make new friends. There you go. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And maybe, I don't know, Alexa, would you like to finish off today's show? I don't have an opinion on that. Until then, my name is Alexa and keep evolving.